All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years apart, with the same height and some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins, four losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Pepper number seven, and now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your home. shots oh significant strike attempt there but a huge block all right here we go first round is underway no denying the big reach advantage for him tonight we'll see if he can get that jab going early look for him to circle on the outside use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms well perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there nice kick landed by the jump he gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Ooh, nice straight left hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. I mean, that right hand landed square. 
Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Big body kick lands. Oh, nice right hand. Straight right, he misses. Ooh, head kick lands. It hurts. Striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. A great job landing. What a damaging punch. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. And he landed the right hand there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Straight right is there. Really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. is true now the right hand oh massive head kick there we'll see if he can finish kick to the body by lee and now he's got the tie clinch Misses with the right hand. Slips to avoid that left. Beautiful strike. Came in inches right there, boys. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Misses there with the left. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, he's going to shut your body off. Caught that kick there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, big head kick. Beautiful punch. Into that leg kick. Oh, wow! Head kick! Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Beautiful head kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, roundhouse kick, DC. That was a beautiful strike, and that is the most powerful kick that you can land in a fight. Horn sounds for the end of round one. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets on. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Big ball punch man. Now we get back to range. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. 
beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. Able to check the high kick. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw a knee. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Circling to his right. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Now he touches him with the left. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, slips and rips. He's got the body on a swivel tonight. Just over. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Try to establish that jab. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. We'll get oh, he might be out. He went high on that one. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that one. And there comes the separation now. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land his way. Now a takedown attempt. It is not there. And not a ton behind. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. Both guys really throwing with authority. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Head kick attempt. It's blocked. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Gotta whip his hip into that kick. Just out of range with the big right hand. He just hurt him with a left hook, yeah. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Nice punch by Lee. Nice sneaky head kick. All right, round three coming up next. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights 
with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. And then every now and again, he set down with a strike that was really damaging his opponent. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Strong kick to the outside of that feet leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Oh, huge block! Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, nice counter to land the left hook there. Big kick lands. Lee's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Nice punch, Lance. Just over three minutes to go. Right under the elbow, by the plan. Well, no surprises, he connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeted it, right? He's looking, you can see him almost putting a laser beam on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much, he's just keep making his split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. So there it is, longer reach pain. Nice takedown play. That right hand hurt him a little bit. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Fighters back to their feet here. Nice Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. That punch no good. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Well, you gotta think he's gonna enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes, and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the octagon. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to school right now to fire up a video to look at beauty in action, and he was the one causing all the action. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like a dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hitting bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Lee. 15 seconds to go. Nice straight punch. 
Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just missed. Straight left counter, that one will work. Oh, man, hit you, man. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Well, a case of pick your poison here, if you drop the elbow defensively to lessen the body damage, you open yourself up upstairs. He is in some serious trouble now. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice head kick. Sound defensively blocks the shot. to the head. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. And he caught the kick. Nice loop of punch. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Amazing that we could get to this point of the fight and he would not show even a modicum of a sign of fatigue. Well, he's doing a very good job of managing the cardio. He doesn't do everything in 100% power. He throws things to set up. He does a good job of knowing when to go and knowing when to slow down. And it's showing. Look at his cardio. He does, he's not even breathing heavy. shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 55 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it.